And welcome back, campers. Command of the Camp Gamers here. Back with Evil Ant. You wanted it, so here we go. We'll just continue on and uh, see what the rest of the game has to offer here. Uh, warning, there's, as far as replayability goes, it's somewhat limited, so if I ruin the game ending for you, it's your own fault. You've been warned. Alright, let's see where I'm actually at. Uh, what am I supposed to be doing here? Here, come here. Yep, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a great way to start. Uh, I think I have to go to the town. So let's head over that way and uh, see what we have. I don't think this is the way I'm supposed to go. I think I just went back this way for a save point. Alright, I should probably figure out uh, where I'm going first, huh? <laughs> That's probably going to be beneficial. Alright, so this is the Agile Adventurer's Path. It's a rock I still can't break. I think at some point I should be able to break rocks. But they don't have that strength. No, I need to find a hammer or something. Uh, when I unlock the second weapon, <laughs> that will be the important part. Nothing in that. Come on. Okay, so we go over this. Let's head up here. Avoid all the bats. Nope, nope. Come here, come here, come here. There we go. That's right. Glad these things don't shoot anything at me. I'm just remembering my Zelda days and these things shooting things at me and I'm like, ah! I'm already doing poor enough. Two hearts. Oh, don't chase after me. Alright, let's head over this way. There's just a ton of enemies on the field right now. <laughs> well, that's a great dead end. Well, let's not go that way. <laughs> let's try to find somewhere else to go. Navigate through. Nothing over this way. Okay. I wonder if enemies regenerate. I don't know if I left you or if you regenerated. Uh, lost. Another thing I remember from my Zelda days being dreadfully, dreadfully lost. Oh, here's another trans dimensional one. Oh, here we go. What do we got? Life bonus. Awesome. Now I can get extra life out of these guys. Can we get here? Camera zoom! You look very cool when you get a new item. Uh, Majora's Mask. That was the first one I remember. Well, maybe not Majora's Mask. Maybe there's another one that did camera zoom before that. That was the one I... That's probably the first game I remember using camera zoom, but... That's because the C-Stick... those bushes for nothing. I guess, uh, yeah, some of the Zeldas for 64 had a bit of camera zoom. I guess it depends if you also include Game Boy or Game Boy Color. Some of that had uh, some zooms as well. Uh, here's another treasure chest. What do we get? The Wasp card. Excellent. A new card to play in Double Twin. And uh, Jorayim asked me to actually play a Double Twin game, so I am planning on that. Uh, I think the first Double Twin game you can actually play is in town, so once I hit town up here, we'll be able to see that. There are a lot of chests in this area. A star! Collect all the hidden stars of Evil Land. Yep. They, so far, haven't been incredibly difficult. I mean, if you run down every, every angle you can go, you pretty much... Oh, HD textures! You can pretty much find it. Oh, what do we got here? The Noria Mines are just south of here, okay. If we get through, we can reach my hometown. I hope everybody there is doing okay. Please hurry, my hero. Alright, so that's the way we have to go, so let's go the other way <laughs> and see if there's... because I know there's at least one treasure chest over here. Let's see what we get here. Another star. Alright. Not sure actually what stars do you good they are for you, but uh, they let you make them anyways, so. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to be a secret eventually, once I can break rocks or do something with rocks, but uh, not that right now. South we go. Oh, nothing in there. Ah, alright. Ooh, a treasure chest. Ooh, three-dimensional worlds. <laughs> I do remember that. Alright, let's just check here. Nothing there. Okay, in we go! 
Ah, uh, oh, this is Zelda-esque if I've ever seen something. Remember the temples of Zelda? Alright, what do we get? Oh, I can now explore the Noria Mines. Alright. Oh, this is very Zelda-esque. There's the pots. <laughs> uh, I can't skip over the water yet. I can't apparently break pots. Oh, now I can break pots. Ah, uh, there we go. All I need is my boomerang, and I'm all set. <laughs> Give me a boomerang. Pressure plates. All right. Well, let's see what happens with pressure plates. Uh, Super Nintendo had pressure plates, if I remember correctly. Maybe, there, I guess there were some in the old Final Fantasies as well. Torment just makes you wonder why they even have doors. <laughs> yes. All right, let's see what else we have going on here. Red Wizard. Quickly dry my clothes. Oh, he's a shooty guy. All right, I'm fine. Fireball! Let me guess. Trap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> die, die, die. Ah, that was a pretty easy trap. And hey, look at that. This is like the universal sign right here when you have an L shape on the ground that... Oh, look, there's going to be something that's going to pop up in here eventually. Unless they really want to mess you up. A key! Alright, well, I guess I'll go stick that in a lock. Da -da -da. We unlocked a skeleton! Oh, look at that. You did indeed. Apparently, you cannot hit him from the front. Oh, oh and the skeleton. Oh. oh, tricky, tricky. There we go. Apparently, the skeleton has multiple hits as well. The only thing I've ever seen in these is hearts, so. Jump, jump. He's probably going to unlock jump here in a little bit, I would guess. I can see something under the water there. There must be a mechanism nearby. Really? Come here, wizard. Ah, that's your once. Wizards are definitely harder to hit in this version than they are in Zelda, that's for sure. <laughs> you got something happened somewhere. Again. Huzz, huzzah. And check that out. No surprise there. this guy. A maze! Always go left, or was it right? Let's see how difficult this maze is. I was never good as, with mazes as a child. I always got lost. Yep, there's a chest. A key! Hooray! Want to bat? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, let's go over here and see if there's... Oh, yep, look there, there's another chest. This is just like, uh, it's almost like a hidden objects game. Like, how many can you find? Collect all the hidden stars of Evil Land. I can, I'll, I'll do this. I will collect all the stars as long as they don't make me go back all the way to the beginning when I start unlocking stuff. I have a feeling that's what they might make me do, and I'm not, I'm not super interested in that. Um, uh, okay, this is back towards the beginning. So far, nothing as crazy has happened, so, oh, there's the exit. Oh, you tried to swing your sword at me? Ow. Oh, there's two of you now. That's right. Poke, poke, poke. They're pretty intelligent, actually. They're more intelligent than those other guys I was attacking earlier. That's right. The, the old Zelda guys with the shields and the capes. I hit from behind. I don't need any more hearts yet. A pushable block! Alright. Don't hurt your back, I'll try not to. So as far as the commentary goes, like... Oh, check out all these bats. Is that... Okay, fine. I'll leave me alone. One. Like, there isn't a whole lot of puzzly elements. Like, there is a killing everything element, but... Two! But so far, I haven't been actually challenged by any of the puzzles, which, I guess, I mean, if you... I mean, if that's what you're looking for, then fine. But I guess it's a commentary, so commentaries don't necessarily have to be challenging. This is an awfully big room. An awfully big room to have nothing in it. Oh, yep. <laughs> Three skeletons, all right. You can tell by their slight shadows they drop. That's right. Yeah, those are actually pretty, ow, pretty smart skeletons. That's right. Oop, just get up. Get around their hitboxes. 
Their block feature is annoying because it doesn't seem to be a way to avoid their block. There we go. Da -da -da! Eat my sword. High def user interface. Oh, check that out. There were monsters in the previous room. I hope you're not badly hurt. Uh, well, you could heal my wounds, but, uh... Yeah, so far not really helping. Ooh, this guy's got extra shield. Oh, yes. This was one of my favorite parts of uh, Zelda for Super Nintendo, is being able to bounce those guys off the edge. All right, come here, you. You're gonna go bounce him. Come on, get away from the corner. Although you're definitely harder to bounce than other enemies have had to bounce. There we go. Easy peasy. Trap, maybe? Oh no, left or right? <laughs> this is like the first part of the Hyrule Castle. Like, I, I just, I remember all of this. Like, you drop down into the pot, or into the castle, through the secret entrance. We have Whirlwind, a gentle wind to guide you to the nearest trap. All right, one, two, three, blank. Well, okay, that's pretty simple. Oh, look, they're even synchronized. That's convenient. All right, oh, two of those dumb lizards. Strike! A light puzzle! Ow! Right. Stop it! Okay, so we're gonna kill this guy first, and then we'll finish the light puzzle. That's not important. Let's go round and round and round we go. Ta-da! Victory is mine! Hey, hey, hey. They spawn so far away from you. Ah! Nah, fine. Skip it. You can sit here and play with your fireballs all day. I'm gonna go mm. kill some things. Hey! Oh, you're not gonna chase me, huh? That's right. A little bit more concealed area, you have a little more trouble, huh? Ow! There we go. Now you're dead. Oh, there's wind. Whoa, wind here. Okay, this is a little more challenging. What? How did I get hit by that? Where do we get? A key! All right. <laughs> oh, what you have to say? I have a very bad feeling about this. Watch your steps. Okay. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Okay, well, let's just go this way so we get to the pot. Excellent. Oh, okay. Well, that's what happens when you don't watch your steps. It's pretty easy to fall. Oh, yes, that's very easy to fall. <laughs> oh, I did not press over there. Okay, we're doing this this time. Dun 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 dun. that pot and get the extra health. Yep. Okay, better. Much better. Auto fire. The key to success is good timing. What? Oh, it just launches fireballs. That's nice. Okay, nothing over there. Whoa, just run. <laughs> Whoa, just run. Just run. Oh, tricky, tricky. Half a heart. Tricksy, tricksy peoples. There's a strong, evil creature ahead. Or maybe it's cute. Who knows? Let's find out. Something is coming. Oh, look, it's the evil me. Hmm. It's the evil me. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's shooting bats. Oh, and fireballs. Ow! I don't like that attack. Bat. Oh, stop firing fireballs at me. Oh, you missed. You 
a mist. Oh, okay, well, there's how you kill it. You just gotta stick by the wall, I guess. Come here, bat. Oh, and another hit. Come here, bat. Oh, three bats this time. Come here, come here. I missed. Not uh, first I wasn't close to a wall either, so that's not. Oh, he missed again. Yeah. Huh. Now, don't do that when I'm trying to kill your bats. It's not very nice. Oh, you want to do it again? Ha ha! The evil me has been destroyed. And I can go back the way I came, I guess, or I could kill this bat. But no boss item. Apparently boss items weren't invented yet. Or maybe this is the boss item. We'll see. The legendary sword. Does it remind you of some past hero? Check out my new sword. Ooh. I can feel fresh air. Excellent. Let's just do a quick check over here. See if there's anything over here to find. They would do that right after that. No, that's just the mines again. How do we get 3D fights? Hold off until the fourth dimension. Alright, let's see how my new sword does. And in typical fashion, the woman's getting beat up. What kind of magic do you have? You have heal, okay. Well, there's still no mana bar, so. <laughs> Thank you for actually hitting me. Nothing like a good old heal bot. I need like some type of special move for my character though. Oh good. Good two of you can actually kill something. Check out these 3D fights guys. This, is, this was pretty cool when it first came out. <laughs> I admit that. It was pretty darn cool. Alright, so where are we actually going here? Do another fight! Yay! You reach level 5, my attack increased and her defense increased. There's brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant, I tell you. Oh, the Final Fantasy grinds. This is kind of unique in the fact that it has both Final Fantasy and Zelda esque parts in it. I have no idea where I'm going. Ah, back to the three enemies. Ooh. It says I do get a special eventually. I'm looking forward to when that's unlocked. Yoink! Heal bot! Yeah, one hit kill! I don't know why it just doesn't give you a ton of health at this point. Like, at what point are you gonna be like, hmm, I'm in a battle, maybe I should just, uh, you know, not use my heal since I haven't been in 320 go! Oh, hey, there it is. I found it. Let's go down here first, see if there's anything down here. Attack! Success! 120 go! Ooh, there's a different colored forest down here. Oh, I've got to get something to break first. Okay, well, now you know. Now you know, sometimes soon I'm getting a hammer. Or a Pokemon. I'm not sure which. Either getting a TM or a Pokemon, so... <laughs> Holy cow, that's a big turtle. And a tune. Okay, so he does area effect type of It should still be okay as long as she heals every turn. Ah, one down. Now, if they turn off this auto healing ability, then that'll be difficult. <laughs> but as long as I have infinite auto heal, I'm good. All right. Strike. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and heal up just in case something better comes out of. All right, and attack. And attack again. Got plenty of health. 
and attack again. There we go. 400 gil. All right. And we leveled up. All right, let's head to the town here. You got pre-rendered backgrounds. All right. And at last, we're back. I hope everything is fine. I'm happy with the village. It's not been swallowed by the waste. Will the power of the crystal be enough to save us? I don't know. Let's click the save point. Game is saved. What do you have to say? Welcome. Our village was once flourishing. Look at it now. Mandatory use to protect the whole country. All right. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Typical. Everything's gonna die. Can I get the house? Nope. Apparently, I have not unlocked uh, home invasion in the 3D area. Oh, <laughs> look at that. We have a now loading screen. Uh, that's great. Let's see what we got here. Warm, worrying rumors. People say the sacred grove has been corrupted. You're hopeless. Okay. Let's go. Get into that house. Nope. Okay, a little bit glitchy there. <laughs> now loading screens. Oh, check this out. What do we get? A restless child! He keeps running all the day long! Running around. I'd rather play with firecrackers. What do we get here? Card players! Ah, here we go. And an expensive merchant. Alright, what do you have to say? I just love Double Twin. Alright, let's do an easy game here. Here's Double Twin. Alright. So what you have to do is you have to basically outmaneuver your opponent. And it's... It can be reasonably difficult depending on what deck you draw. So his three beat my two, so he takes that over. Um, so now I'm looking for somebody who is weak. See, he's got a one on the top, so if I put him here... Yoink! Card mine! Now he'll play that and change it back, which is not a problem because that's a one, and I can easily take that back. Oh wait, that was a dumb move. Oops! I did not think that through at all. Alright, well, here, we'll go for a double takeover here. I'll just leave a five exposed. He'll probably take the bat. Oh, he's gonna beat me! Well, that's what happens. You lose! Alright, let's try again. Let's see, my cards are better this time. Okay, we got a three and a seven. So if I have something higher than a three, we got a five. Looks like a pretty solid take. Then I have a five and a six. Five, six, seven exposed, so. Let's see what he's gonna pull off. Okay, he's just gonna start a new area. Okay. Let's see, he's got a two there, and he's got threes on the sides, so. I want to take him from the bottom. Uh, there's a three. Those are threes. That's not very good. Ideally, he'd be placed like right there. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can take the backseats though, so we'll just have to place him out and see how this goes. We've got a three and a two there. Alright, switch. Oh, that was an easy. That's gonna be easy switch. Uh, we'll go ahead and put him there. I'll protect him, and I'll have an eight, a five, and a three. Let's see what he plays next. What do you have? All right, a three. So okay, that means I have to play him, which is okay because he's got a five. So he has to have something stronger than a five on his top or his left. So let's see what he's got. No. All right, I win. Woohoo! All right. Let's try medium. If I remember correctly, this has o the only time this gets harder is actually when they start bringing out better cards. Like, the cards are pretty much the same, so when they start giving you crappy cards and the AI good cards, then it actually becomes difficult. Alright, so we have a five, so we can either take, let's take him out, let's get that back. So I've got two fours exposed, he's got three fours exposed, right, so he's just going to block that off. Uh, so he's got two fours. I have a five. So I'm not going to actually lose any ground with that, so we'll go ahead and take that. What does he have? A six and a two. Okay, well, I can't take out the six, but I can do the two, so... Let's go ahead and put that there so he doesn't have a chance to flip my card. And he may be able to flip that two back, but it doesn't matter. I've got the rest of the board. No, he can't. 
Take the trip. I think you were pretty lucky this time, yeah. Alright, on to hard. Here we go. Alright, we got that would put a four. Yeah, that'll give us a four, five, and a or a five and six and sixes to break through, which is good. Oh, he has an infinity card. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he have an infinity card? Alright, so I can take out that. I can take out either of those cards with that. That would leave me a fours open. So I put there. That's fives to attack. I don't think I have any other fives. I can get out of that. Okay. So that's the only one I can take out underneath, anyways. Alright, so let's go ahead and take... That, that card right there. Let's see, if that, let's see how this works out. Let's see if this strategy works out for me or not. Oh, there's this five. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to have to place a dead card because there's nobody I can actually attack right now. So I just want to put the best, safest possible him there, so hopefully I can lock in that card with a five. No, he's got a six card! Yeah, this is where it gets a little ridiculous when they have this type of card. Because there's no way you can actually protect yourself from that. And I can't take any more cards, so this, this turn is lost. Yeah, when they start getting out the special cards that you don't have access to at this point in the game, yeah. Alright. Let's try it one more time. I have got up the champion before, so it just really depends on how you play your cards. Literally. And when you get crappy cards like this out of the draw, then that's not very helpful. Good card play by him. Take that back. He's already used one of his good cards. Oh, look, he's got two two hero cards. That's that's just great. Well, I'm not going to be able to do anything if he's got that many hero cards. Uh, let's see, place there. You can place underneath or on top. He's just got way too many good cards at this point. I have to get better cards because with that many hero cards... You lose. All right, we'll try one more time. Just because I have actually made it to champion before with just an normal card. But not with a hand like this, I won't. And not if he's using that many special cards. Oh, I can't do that either because he has an 8 on the bottom. Nope. Take her. It's usually about capturing their special card. If you can find a spot to take the special card, then you're usually doing pretty good. Okay, he's got a 3 there. I've got a 5 and a 4. Let's just put him there. If he takes me with something that can hold the bat... Nope, he's not going to take the bat. He's going to take that. Okay, well, I don't have my big munch card. Which means I have no way of actually hurting him. Alright, so best to probably protect that if we can. He's got a three and a five. Oop, I can take that one. Yeah, it's a six five, so we're, there it is. That's how you win. You just have to take their special cards just enough. <laughs> There's nothing to say. Well, that's it for the evil and follow up. It's good to note that it actually does have some better puzzlers later on in the game. Uh, there's still nothing necessarily to write home about, so my original review still stands. But hopefully now you have a better idea about the game. So thanks for watching. If you'd like to see another episode, please let me know. And we'll see you next time.